Hello, everyone, and welcome back for chapter two of my FE6 random deployment Iron Man. Except until chapter six, it's just an Iron Man. So chapter two is pretty straightforward. Uh, follow the only path to the boss, kill him, take his throne. So once again, I'll be using Marcus to weaken people so that Roy or Alan or Lance or Shanna can kill them. And he leaves this guy at exactly one HP. Nice. In unless he crits, in which case he one rounds. Oh well, so much for that. So one thing I like to do on the first turn of this map is rescue drop Marcus onto the fort. That way he took points all of the other enemies so that they can't move in too far. That lets everyone else advance as much as possible without being in danger. So I think if I javelin this guy, he might suicide on enemy phase. As long as I make sure he can't reach Wolf or Ellen. So let's do that. Do you reach? Okay. So Walt can hang out over here. Ellen over here. Merlinus can go shopping. Oh, come on, boy. It's okay. We can heal him and kill him play this. Shanna is pretty cool because not only is she a good unit and has a lot of flyer utility, like uh, being able to carry people to the boss can help us complete chapters faster so we don't have to worry about dragon as much. Um, but she's also nice because she's not competing for her promotion item. Like there's really no one else to use the first Elysian whip. Um, whereas I have a bunch of potential Nightcrest users and so if if I give any of them the night crest, there, there's kind of a risk that I'm going to regret it later on when they don't get deployed and I need it for someone else. So, Shanna is someone we'll want to train. Deke can potentially be useful. Uh, in particular, he's one of the better people to take on Henning in 8x. Uh, Wrecker's the best candidate. Lou is also usually good there, but Deke is fine for that. Uh, Assuming he's about ready to promote, so. Let's see. So this will probably go to Roy, but I want to deal with the less reliable stuff first, so. Well, should be. We're going to heal Roy regardless. And if Roy misses the soldier, then someone else needs to kill him, so. Please hit this. Come on. Okay. Good job, Roy. Let's see if Lance can kill this soldier. He can. That frees up Marcus to go um, weaken one of these guys. Which he will do. Uh, he will kill him. All right. Marcus is very fond of crits today. Go bomb. Okay. I think I'll have Alan kill this guy. And he's probably going to want to go for Lance, but that's not terrible. I don't want him going for Boars particularly. I don't think Boars doesn't even have a Javelin. I guess. It'd be okay if he went for Walt. Walt could do chip. 
Well, it shouldn't die to a hand axe. Over here, um, I like to start by having Deke soften up this soldier. Alright, so Deke got hit, which means he's going to face a bit higher risk of death, which means I'm going to get Deke out of there and regroup with the main force. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'll let the soldier suicide into Shanna. Uh, she has her slum lance, good. And we will... Oh yeah, no one... I forgot. Deke is so heavy that uh, nobody else can hold him, so we'll have to drop next turn. But Shanna will be fine either. Carrying someone just reduces your skill and speed, um, and soldiers are way too slow to ever double anything, so it's not a big deal. Alright. Merlinus, um, we're gonna buy some vulneraries here. We, we could probably hold off until chapter 5, but with no healer, we will eventually... Or... Since we can't guarantee when we get healers, we will need vulnerabilities at some point. Alright. XP for Shanna. And yeah. We'll let these guys come to us. If he stayed on the fort, Deke wouldn't have that high a chance of death, but I prefer not to risk it in an Iron Man. So, do we need Marcus to weaken here? I think we can probably do it. Well, Alan can do this and doesn't have a death chance. Let's have Lance take Marcus's sword. Marcus will get an Iron Axe from Wade soon. Alright, yeah, he has no death chance, so... Just box this guy in. And yeah, Roy also survives an enemy phase, so. He'll attack one of them, probably Roy, and die uh, on enemy phase. So I want Marcus to trade for Wade's Iron Axe, because Wade kind of stinks, so I'm not going to use him anyway. And I want Marcus to build his axe rank so he can use the halberd uh, at the very least in chapter 7, but ideally in chapter 4. Yep, I'm gonna let Marcus bait some guys. Everyone else needs to stay out of the fighter's way until he's dead. Merlinus will go get the armor slayer not worried about getting that to the rest of the army because Shanna can ferry it over the mountain. Melinus sends it to himself. Uh, alright. So the fighter can go for Marcus. Uh, or I can give him the option to go for... Oh, I should have flown back and... I could have gotten Shanna healed this turn. But... That might have been better. Lot is also going to give his hand axe to Marcus, so he has a nice 1-2 range option. He doesn't need it this turn, but good for the future. And we'll drop off. Well... We'll drop off Deke here, so he's only in range of the fighter. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're not. Shannon will need to move next turn to be in dealing range anyway. Alright. I think this is good enough. Yep, as expected, he gives Roy some more XP. Almost ready to level up. Alright, Deke kills him. Let's open him. This is just the chapter of unnecessary criticals. 
My highest level units want all the XP. So, oh, Alan can actually one round, nice. It's only a soldier, but still. One rounding in FE6 is kind of hard. Strength, speed, and defense. That's a good level. Yeah, the nice thing if you retreat instead of sticking on the fort is you only have a few people coming at you. Because these guys don't move until you get within their attack range, so. It lets you take on enemies in a little more manageable manner. But no one else can reach up here. Let's see. You have a javelin, so I can't safely... I assume Shanna dies. Yeah, exact damage. Well, I could let you go for Al for Alan. That's probably okay. Let's retreat Shanna back here to get healed. So she can do another combat. We'll bring Roy forward, so he might even be able to kill that soldier next turn. We could also rescue drop him, and then the soldier might, well, actually the soldier's not going to get countered. Boris is just going to move, and Walt is just going to move. So we should probably start baiting the next group of enemies. Yeah, the, the bad thing with Iron Axe Marcus is he one round stuff. Like, 17 attack on 4 defense. Okay, he won't one round that fighter. So, we'll just stick him here. Deke is in a pretty good spot to get healing next turn. Lance will equip the javelin so he can counter the other javelin. Axe bros, just hang out the bros. Roy, charge forward. Okay. And Merlinus will head off to do some weapon shopping. softens this guy up, yeah, Roy can kill. But first, let's heal Deke while he's still within Ellen's range. Alright. Alright, that did not work. And Alan has no ranged weapon. Well, Shanna has a ranged weapon. So, if Shanna... Oh, Shanna might kill, but I'm okay with giving XP to Shanna. We could even bring her farther forward. That should be fine. Alright. Should be enough to let Roy kill. What can Alan do up here? 10 damage... Or... One round the soldier. I, I like one rounding the soldier, and that should be uh, Put him in range. How much damage is he taking? Well, I can rescue drop him out of there with Marcus if necessary. He didn't get hit though, so he might survive. Good job, Roy. See this level up. Defense isn't bad. So, Alan is at 7 defense. 
he's got a lance right now, so he'd be taking seven, and five is twelve, and twelve is twenty-four, yeah, so he dies if all three of these go for him. It's actually, yeah, Marcus doesn't kill that guy. So I think what I'm going to do is just uh, get him out of there. Lance should be fine because the javelin can't reach him. sword that was originally on Marcus is almost broken. Uh, we want another iron sword for Marcus, so everyone can have their own sword. And we want one for Rutger, since he just joins with the Killing Edge. And maybe we get one more for Roy. He might burn through his, since we're trying to use him. Uh, Shannon needs an Iron Lance. And... It's good to have a spare Iron Lance. Uh, we're going to be using more Lances in the coming chapters. Uh, we need Javelin for... Well, Javelin for Alan. Um, get another one for Lance. Get one for... Marcus will probably be using the Hand Axe till he has Axe Rank, but it's good to have several Javelins. They're not as good in FE6 as in um, FE7 and 8, where you can just equip a javelin and murder everything on enemy phase, but still, being able to counter enemies is much better than not being able to counter them, even if the hit rates are shaky. So, javelins are definitely still useful in FE6. There's another armory in Chapter 4, though, so we don't have to worry too much about shopping. Merlinus now is just going to stay here and wait for uh, Shannon to ferry the Armor Slayer, if we need it. Let's see. Dragon shows up turn 13, so we have some time. So this is a kill we could potentially feed to Roy. Uh, Marcus just kills the archer. Let's heal up deep. No, Lance can't double anything. He's still, he's still at base speed. Walt can ship this guy. So you deal seven with five strength. So with six strength, you should deal eight, which will be enough to kill. All right. So that's good. How do we want to deal with the archer? Let's see. Alan can should be able to take both of these guys. actually need to just kill the archer with Marcus. Or maybe we can box him in. That works. Just want to make sure again. Seven defense on... Okay. So that's seven and... Eleven, yeah. So Alan will be okay. So Roy exactly kills the fighter. More XP. 
do have a javelin. Alright. If we can hit that, then Shannon might be able to get the kill. This way we would counter the javelin guy, but I'm not sure he'd go for Shannon anyway. So we're just gonna slim lance. Almost to a Shanna level up. And you can just hang out here. He gets a little more forward. Fours, charges, and we're done. Oh, next. Dodging even with a lance. Oh, you do go for Shanna. Almost cleaned up. Oh well, Marcus doesn't double this guy, despite his heavy weapon. So, but Marcus could bait that guy. Let's see. 28, Wonder, is Alan? Oh yeah, Alan easily one rounds you. useful guys. And then Lance. And then let's level up. Strength and speed. Good stuff. And Roy can get the kill. There we go. Alright. So I'm gonna have Marcus uh, bait these guys. He's gonna use an axe so he gets his axe XP because Marcus can survive baiting a guy with an axe. I think this guy only moves when you're in like half his movement range. Should be like the archer range, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll just wait up here and keep everyone else out of range. Uh, nobody needs healing that Ellen can get to. Lance will need healing. actually has a chance to kill us with a crit. That's a little bit annoying. Let's chip with Wolt. Heal Lance. Chip with Lance. Nope. Don't chip with Lance. Even more crit, right? Does Shanna have good luck? I think she should. Oh, she still faces crit. Alright. And what does Roy even do? 5 damage. 78 hit. Uh, actually, does Marcus. Marcus does not kill with. Uh, an axe. Only 66 hit. But we know we're not triggering the fighter from here, so... We can bring in deep. Alright, that worked out well. Yeah, if that didn't hit, we could bring up uh, deep here and block off, and then it would just be Lance facing a tiny crit chance on enemy base. Alright, no crit on Roy, and Shanna can get him out of there if things go badly. Actually, Shanna might not be able to get him far enough out from there. So, we might need him 
to go up here. Probably want to use the rapier for extra accuracy. And Roy should be able to take 13 and 18. So 13 is 7 damage and 18 is 11. Yeah, so he can tank both hits if he hits this. Victory music. So I think this way we can bait. Now you can use your iron sword. And Shanna should head off to pick up the armor slayer. There's not much point in moving the other people. Defense is good, I guess. I would like more strength than speed. But we'll take what we can get. Oh, and the archer didn't move either. Huh. See how the ghosts of burn AI too? Maybe. So... Alright, Deke kills. Lance could weaken... Roy... Deals 8. So I need to get 13 from other people. Marcus deals too many 13s. Alan. So let's try Walt. Walt continues to be useful. Oof. But hey, level up. Speed? Alright. Still behind Lance. To kill. So I don't think the archer should move, and he's not going to kill Alan even if he does. So we are fine. Shanna, go grab that armor slayer. And Marcus. So he could be fighting the boss, but he's on rather low HP, so I'm going to have him grab Wade's Vulnerary, use that, and then Kanto up to fight Rude on EP, so that, that's kind of the easiest way for him to grind up his axe rank, his repeatedly chip at the boss. And we'll send Deke up here. Deke will probably be the one to use the Armor Slayer, since I don't want to give the level up to Marcus. Uh-oh. Alright, yeah. Fortunately, even though her growth is bad, Ellen has good base speed, so she's not getting doubled. turn are we on? 10. Alright, we have a little bit of time. Uh, armor Slayer. And head back. None of these people are going to see combat, but it's good to get some healing XP for Ellen. Uh, it'll be nice to have someone able to, as many people as possible, 
able to use like warp and physic and such since I have no guarantee what staff users I'll get to deploy when. We might be able to pull off the Iron Axe kill. Marcus level up. Uh, Orlinus will head over there to bait Dragon if necessary. We will have the Armor Slayer on deep ready and waiting. Let's keep Marcus healthy. That'll do actually we should be able to feed this to Roy. Yeah, one HP. Because Roy has the rapier to deal effective damage, so. Bye Rude. You know you're a bad boss when you die to Roy. Strength skills well that's a good level. Roy's our boy. Alright. No. So, Dragon would show up at the end of this turn, but I'm not going to stick around to see him. That is Chapter 2 of the Random Deployment Iron Man, complete in 13 turns. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for Chapter 3.